presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to our man, Al in Homo Sasa. What's going on, brother? It's, isn't it wonderful? I went ahead and invested in your uh, Tiger Dollars, <laughs> and I went ahead and got the gold report <laughs> for a year, and, and also your, morning, your, your call letter and stuff like that. That and I got over fifty percent return in one day, not counting uh, everything else. But I just want to thank you. Tom's not perfect, but he tells you how to put your stops in and he keeps your losses small. You can take your small losses, but then all of a sudden you'll be like Dave Root and you'll hit a home run. I mean, a big home run. Yeah. And put the money in your pocket. Okay, I mean, brother. I You're awesome, man. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We are five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. You have the power to create. This is a dynamite card, man. Your power is so strong that whatever you believe comes true. You are that way. You are that way because that is what you believe about yourself. Your whole reality, everything you believe is your creation. We're more powerful than we think, folks, okay? Check it out, man. Grab it and run with it. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 310, NASDAQ off 197, SP's down 58, gold, gold contract up $8.30, trade at 2008 an ounce. You get silver down 25 cents, $25.27 an ounce, light sweet crude off a buck 56, $77.20 a barrel, notes and bonds. 10 year note up 29 ticks, trading 115.25, the 30 year up a full point. Plus 18 ticks at 132.10 and King Dollar. King Dollar, where are you? King Dollar up 490 ticks, trading 101.839. The Euro is at 109. The Yen is at 133. And the British Pound is at 124 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. And the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. Well, bottom line is that you saw that contraction of volume yesterday. You couldn't hold price. Bottom line, here we go. You know, you're at 58 million shares right now. You're coming into, well, you, we're coming into the 113 million. That's where we had some strength. Now, the top of that strength was 409. The bottom was 404. So we're already digged. We already have dug into that bar. So 404 is game. That's the first part. The bigger part, however, is that what you're going to have here, it couldn't make it up to the highs, the swing high that I had been talking about for a while, that 410. We made it up to the, oh, the 414. Hold it. it was 418. We made it to 415. Now what's game is that swing low, because you have a high volume swing low. And that's out of 380, and we're at 406. NDX 100, same type of setup inside the NDX. You don't have any buyers at the highs. You have sellers, as soon as you get up there, push them away. So we're 38 million right now. Yeah, basically, let's see. Yeah, we're breaking the swing with volume already, right? because the swing has 46 million, We'll do 46 million easy. We're gonna do, uh, we'll do about 58 million. We'll do about 20 million coming into the close out here. Now, in the queues, this is, this is what you really wanna wrap your head around. What just happened in the queues, the queues are down five bucks. We're at 310. The queues just went back in its lower trading range. So this is a huge failure on price. When, when you get out of a trading range, folks, right? And in this particular case, we actually stayed out of that trading range for almost a month. And you get back inside it, get out of the way, man. Because there's a lot of people that own up at this level, bottom line. You still have a, 
Also, you have another high volume low that's laying out here at 285. So 285 is game inside the Qs. Gold. Now, gold is impressive out here today. This is really cool what's happening with gold. And what we have is this. You have the dollar coming off the lows, okay? You have gold that didn't even get to the low of yesterday and has 207,000 contracts. That's good contract volume, man. That's, that's, that's what you're looking for. So, and it didn't get in the lower range. The lower range in gold is 1992. You know, we got down there five days ago, we got to 1990. Two days ago, we got to the 1992. Bottom line, today we got to 1986, rejected it, but you're pushing higher now with volume. So. This is gonna be quite a battle out here, man. And my take on the gold market, this is what it's about. It's about interest rate structure. What we have with interest rate structure right now is that higher price, lower yield. You can see this right here. We get 1.5 million contracts inside the 10 year. So more than likely what we have is that it's gonna make a run to the top of this range. Now the really cool thing here, and this is where it gets really decadent, is that you very well could have a beautiful ABC structure up. We did just over a 0.382 retracement on the way down. And if we have that, let's do this quick. Okay, that's going to be 117 is the high. That's good. Okay, so we got seven and a half points, which we get you yeah, 120.30. Let me do this on a... 120.30. Well, you know what 120.30 is going to do, folks, which will blow some minds. 120.30, if that's what we get, would put the 10-year under 3% again, or at 3%. T-Y-A. No, T-Y. T-Y-1. I need that generic contract. Here we go. Okay. We pull this baby up. Come on. T-Y. Generic 10-year note. There we go. I got it. Okay, now bring this up, 120, 120, let's go look for 120 here, see how this shakes out. Okay, so I'm putting this, okay, interesting, so what is this range here? I see that's 117. Well, this is what ends up happening. If we get back inside 117, 13, you're in the higher range again. I mean, it's going to take quite a bit, um, but this is saying that you know, bottom line, the rate structure uh, is out there, meaning, you know, that the, the next Fed meeting is May 3rd, and, you know, we'll see whether they go up a quarter point. My take is that they're not going to do it, you know, that we've, we've peaked out in rates. Some of the higher volume equities, and we, we get some destruction out here today, there's no doubt. You got uh, Fresh Republic is getting smoked. That's down. It was a $15 stock this morning. It's a $7 stock right now. This should be out of business. I suspect with First Republic, folks, you had the three big, big banks put $10 billion in a piece. Of, yeah, $10 billion bucks a piece. You know, they're, they're just holding that up. And after today, we're going to find something out because guess what? That's, that's not going to stay in business. You know, you get smoke like that in one day. The numbers are out. They don't have the numbers. They have a huge amount of bad debt. You know, we'll see where it shakes out. They've been trying to, you know, hold it together as long as they can. Stay right there, folks. We got our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, coming up next. We have the Dow Industrials down 296, Nasdaq's off 200, S&P's off 57. We're coming right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30 plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen, as well as many more. And he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30 year T-bonds as they both influence Forex markets tremendously. When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now trading down 290. We get the NASDAQ off 198. S&P is off 56. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, The Opening Call, which you can get very easily. But on top of that, which you're going to really dig, okay? Our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, is going to be doing a workshop for his subscribers. Now, the way this works, folks, okay, is that you can come over to our website. The webinar is going to be May 3rd from 4 to 5.30 in the afternoon. So you're getting an hour and a half webinar. Now, you have to be a subscriber to come into the webinar, but check it out, okay? There's, you know, this is a value beyond belief. And what you do is this. You can come over. You can subscribe to his newsletter. You subscribe to his newsletter, you get in the webinar. If for some reason the newsletter doesn't work for you, we have a 30-day money-back guarantee. So guess what? You'll get a great newsletter for 29 days. You're going to get a great workshop, and you're going to really understand how to ride this Chapman wave and what a market for it. So come over to our website right now. You can subscribe to his newsletter. You're going to get a great newsletter. You come into the workshop. It's Wednesday, May 3rd, 4 to 5.30. If you can't make it live, it's going to be archived on your page. Basil Chapman, what's going on? Well, it's very interesting, Tom. We're looking at a market that under other circumstances, normally we would get at this peak D in the Dow, we would get a pretty sharp uh, pullback. But what oh. I've been talking about, I, I think I mentioned it to you last week. I think even the week before I said, in my work, I, use, I do a lot of work intraday, uh, monthly, doesn't matter, yearly using the nine period moving average over the 14 or under the 14 period moving average. When that nine period, and I'll be discussing this in great detail in the webinar, I'll be explaining it, and I'll show you the techniques every day. I'll show the Dow chart. Let me just show you this here. This is what I give my subscribers every day. Um, I give an analysis of the market, and I'm here I'm explaining. There's a Dow chart on the left. It's the same Dow chart, but now I've used uh, different indicators. I've added the MACD, the moving average convergence, divergence the slow stochastic on balance volume, and here's the 120-minute chart. And what I've been explaining, I'll go back to the to the real thing here, is that when the nine-period moving average is extremely high above the 14, it takes either an incredible U-turn, uh, like one of those Lamar Grand Prix races where there's this hairpin bend and it just you know, turns around viciously to the downside, 
drags the price lower, and then finally that nine period moving average because it's a nine bar look back and a fourteen bar book look back. So I'd say we expect that it's going to be a process to take out the fourteen period moving average. And look what we've done from that leg D. I always in the chap wave, we're always looking for a buy signal to go to a buy mode, which means you should get at least four higher peaks to peak A, then B, then C, and then a D. That's where other things can happen. So on the 14th of April at 34,082, the Dow goes to this leg D. The next day, there's just a slightly lower high that makes a peak D. But look what happened you've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Today's the seventh day, but look at those six tiny bars. So my, I said to subscribers, either this is part of a distribution process where it takes time because the people that wanted to buy are now, uh, they're running out of buying power, so there's still a little bit of energy to the upside. But the people that are selling are not getting that downward reaction. But one of the reasons is because this look back period of nine days says that it is so rare to just cascade from this height in the nine period moving average over the 14, it, it's a process. So what I was looking at is the SPY, because we've been long the Dow, we've been long via the Dow Diamonds, as well as the UDOW three times long. But I started taking off positions uh, going into that peak D high, and then we got a short position on the SPY because the S&P is acting a little, was acting a little weaker than the Dow. The technicals were a little weaker. And my thinking was that if there was a turn down, the S&P would actually move down quicker than the Dow. So we still have our core long positions from October in the Dow, but we are short the very next day after the 415.72 high on the 18th using Chapman Wave methodology techniques because you can see the MACD started turning down a little earlier. The, the stochastic has turned down quite sharply, and we've got a different kind of candle power. Now we've got a strong leg down. So there are techniques that I will be explaining in the webinar so that we can do them live. I do them all the time for stocks that are that we are long. I'll, I'll show one just in a moment. But I have a technique that I call the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Support Line on the way up. It's, it's a green dash resistance line. The way down, it's pink dash. And I drew this in. This was two days ago, maybe three so, days ago. Basil, I just want to, did it, that first one, did it break yet or not break? So this, uh, you're talking about this uh, trend line? Yeah, on the left-hand side. Isn't that interesting? It's okay. right now on it. It okay. hit it exactly to the penny this okay. morning, and now it's trying to hold it. Okay. So this is my target line, and it says if that target line's taken out, then, my, then there's a low that was the gap high of the 31st of March yep. of 404.55. That'll be my target, and it should make it within within a few days. So we're looking at actually the day that I have it on left side, right side, price time match to that vertical plumb line of the 18th would be to the um, 4th of May. So 4th of May, I think, is the day after my webinar. Yeah, it's the Thursday. So that's what we're looking at. So these are the techniques we use, but also... On the long side, sometimes that stochastic is so, the, I'm sorry, nine period moving average is so strong, it keeps you in the trade even longer than you thought. So I told you, I mentioned this the other day, I said Symbiotic Inc. is a stock that we're in, does robotic warehouse automation systems. And I drawn this in, I'd done this, all the Chapman Wave methodology, the cup formation, the Chapman Wave, yes, the inside wedge weekly chart, resistance, dash resistance is called the target resistance line. Here's my plumb line with the number of bars on the left from 2848 on the 20, week of the 24th of June. Last year, got plummets down to 875. And I had measured, done a measured move and it said by the week of the 21st of April, it should be testing 2848. And it did it. Uh, one week early, look at that, and it's still in the leg D, and we're still long, um, we're taking little bits off, um, but look at this, here it is at that peak D once again, and it's bumping into the resistance line, but it is, look at the nine, how strong it is, so I, you know, I, what I've said to subscribers, this is a fabulous looking stock, on the next big pullback, we want to add back something that we've taken off, as well as add a, a, another position, so we're looking at individual stocks that we have in our portfolio that are holding well and that I think can bypass any market vicissitudes that we see right now. At the same time, I think you have to be very selective 
And, if, and while we're looking at these different charts, I think we have to have a bigger picture. If you're looking at the QQQ, and this is a good example of something that made the, I talk about a rectangle, I'll do this on my show at 10 o'clock tomorrow, the Tiger Technician's Hour. I'll show the cup formation that goes through an arch formation and then takes out this left side low. So this says that the QQQs are not holding very well, even though we've got a Microsoft, we've got a lot of tech sector uh, re uh, earnings reports coming out this week. It's already below that low. So that says the 309 area is really critical to hold and resistance is probably in the 316 to 317 area on the shorter term. And folks, it's very easy to get his newsletter and to get in the workshop. The workshop, okay, is going to be May 3rd, 4 to 5.30. Come over to our website, get the newsletter. You're going to get a great newsletter. You're going to get a great workshop. Bows, you and have a great night. This, Safe night. The, we look the forward to the show they, tomorrow. The sooner they get it, the sooner they start implementing you, these positions. That's right. Thank you, Tom. Same to you. Stay right there, folks. You come right back. What is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no cash or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFN. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 292. You get the Nasdaq off 206. S&Ps are off 58. Let's go inside the NDX 100 and take a look at the strength versus the weakness out here. So inside the NDX, where are you? There we are. You get Pfizer's up 2.5%, Pepsi's up 2.2%, T-Mobile's up 1.6%. Taken away from it, Z-Scale is down. Look, down a hit that is, man. That's down 7.8%. Uh, you get CrowdStrike off 6% and Tours off 5%. Uh, inside the Dow Industrials, the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. You get John, oh, yeah, point-wise. Let's do point-wise. Okay, so point-wise, what we have... United Health is putting four, 24 positive points. Johnson Johnson 9, IBM 4, taken away from it. Microsoft minus 35, American Express minus 28, Caterpillar minus 27. We had a question about, uh, are we going to go lower from here? No, my take, when you get a day like today, folks, this is what ends up happening. There's going to be a lot of people that are shot, and, you know, they've done well. 
So I suspect we're going to get a bounce out of here. I think the, the, the lows were already reached. I mean, they, they smoked this thing really nice. So we'll see where this shakes out. But that, that's a normal situation. You know what I'm saying? So we'll see where this goes. But my take is that that's what's going to happen here to the close. So you don't have a high volume low. The trashing was done at the bar down there at the um, 150 bar, 150 p.m. And that bar there had uh, 74,000 contracts. We made a low with 28,000. The last bar that didn't hold price did have volume, 29,000. So that's the beginning. I don't expect anything big. I wouldn't be going long to go long. I'm just explaining that I think we're going to get a bounce out of here and that, you know, that's how it shakes out. Now that's at finishing the day out and that's it. That's all I'm talking about. This market wants to continue to lower price. Uh, Google. So let's take a look at Google because Google actually hold it. We got, uh, what, I got a couple. One second. Oh, I know. Okay. One second. Let me pull this up first. Sorry about that. Okay. So where are we going first? One second. Okay. So Sorry about this, folks. I got some stocks here. Okay. The first one's Verizon. Let's go look at VZ. Verizon, I guess they're paying a dividend today. They're, come, oh, they're coming out with numbers today, too, right? 25th? Yeah, 25th. Yeah, so the low is 34, the high is 52. That just pays a 7% dividend. Okay, we take a look at this. Okay, so you're holding the low, at least... Okay, this thing has to get over 29 bucks again, 39 bucks again. Has to reject the $39 because this is going to be that's a high volume low that you have shaken out here. That's how that's, that's working out. Um, and KRE, KRE, KRE. I think that's the regional banks, right? Yeah. So the K, the regional banks, the low that's today $40. The high 68 question here is it going to be an ABC down no because you're taking the, you're taking the lows out but you don't have the volume so let's go see what it wants to do though well it's already into this bar so deep I mean listen this thing you're at 40 it wants to go to 27 you know well the the, the first well, actually, I see what's going on. One second, hold it. This is where you do have a little support right there, right where it's at. You break that $40.33. $40 we didn't get there yet. You break that. See, that's when it came off the lows last time. But this other, this other number is, is hanging out there. There's no doubt about it. Uh, silver, yeah, I didn't mention silver. Silver's strong, man. You know, silver's down 25 cents today, but bottom line is that this rejected lower price um, and you're pushing. That's, you know, we rejected $24.73. You know, the lower range out there is the $25.03. It went into it, rejected it. So that's also saying that uh, silver wants higher price. Uh, let's see. TENB. TENB. I'm sure it's a biotech. <laughs> let's see. It's a holding company. No, this is finance, health, retail. Okay, low is 28, the high is 60. Let's see what we got here. Oh, this is down nine bucks, so you, you must be playing a bounce on this, stand, right? Is that what you're doing? I don't, know what, I don't know what you're doing on this one. Anyway, this is, this is a gap away. I can't read fast enough on the, the Tiger's Den. That's the bottom line. So let's go over to Google. Google's going to be coming out with numbers after the close out here. So... They're going to be looking for 57 billion to the top line, a dollar nine to the bottom line. This is quite a contraction on Google too. I mean, they did 63 billion last quarter. Maybe that's their biggest quarter. Yeah, it is their biggest quarter all the time, anyway. So, look at this growth on Google. Still, this is pretty amazing, actually. The growth on Google. Look, look at these numbers. Internationally, 
they're growing by 6.5% a year. The United States, they're growing by almost 7 uh, yeah, almost 7%. <laughs> that is crazy. Anyway, let's go take a look at it. So, okay, so we got, let's test the high. That high there was 108, 108, 50, 109. We tested the high in, one second, let me see that. That's 20 million shares versus 34. Put this on a weekly. Okay, so on a weekly, this one's a lower price. Yeah. This looks to me, Google looks like uh, 83 bucks or 104. And what this did, you know, you, when we came down, you came down with big volume, what is that, uh, two or three months ago. You came up, you tested it, you failed. Put this on a monthly. Yeah, same deal. See the monthly? This is interesting. So you had two months of going up with great volume. Then you got over the high this month, which is the 108.82. And you, you're under it right now. But you see the contraction of volume? Like, I believe we only have, uh, let's see how many trading days we have left here. So, yeah, we got... We get three trading days left. And see this volume? Now, this is going south. This is going to be intriguing after the close, man. Because you can see we, we've done 351 million shares versus 754. That's going to be really intriguing, man. Particularly because what does happen, folks, in that chart there, you don't see too many times that you're going up two months with volume. And that's what we had at Google. Two months, really nice volume on the way up that we got over it this month and the con excuse me the contraction of volume is huge you know normally if you go up for two months with volume you normally could go up and you have a contraction but not like that dow dow industrials right now down 318 the nasdaq off 209 s p's off 61 stay right there folks come right back If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. 
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Dow. Dow's down 317, the Nasdaq's off 211, S&Ps are off 61. So let's see what we have here. We have uh, the Euro, okay? So some Tigers want to look at the Euro out here. Okay, so you're trading 109, and I suspect what, you, what you're going to get here, uh, you know, it hasn't broken the uptrend yet, okay? But I suspect it's going to because the dollar, if we go over to the dollar, it looks to me you're going to probably get a second day. If we get a, we, we need a second day of strength inside the dollar to get the dollar going anywhere. You can see the bottom line is that, you know, yeah, you could say in one way maybe it broke the trend line. Yeah, you did. So the dollar's saying, actually the dollar's saying right now the dollar wants to go to 105. So if we go to the euro, that's saying that the euro wants to go just the opposite way down to this. Uh... Oh, that's wild. Check that out. So the euro would want to go to 105. The euro's at 109. Euro wants to go to 105. Dollar index wants to go to 105. How's that? Tesla. So let's see what we have going on with Tesla. Tesla, the low is uh, 101, the high is 336. Next time they come out with numbers is on the 20th of July. This is a disaster, Tesla. I mean, I wouldn't be touching Tesla right now. What is this on? Let me see this. What did I just I put this on a monthly? Actually, it's not. I see. I see what you're looking at, Dan. Okay. So look at this. This is just the opposite. This gets interesting here now. Okay. So when I just brought up, uh, what the heck were we just looking at? Anyway, this coming down here, uh, Google. I just brought up Google. This is just the opposite of Google, actually. Look at this. So on a monthly... Last month, you came down with uh, 669 million shares. Well, this month, you've only done 295, and you're coming into 1.1 billion. The problem is, is that you're in that bar. See, when you're in that bar, this does say, hey, it's, this is dangerous, actually. It's dangerous. You could go to 134 on this. Now, you're coming down on light volume, but the bottom line is that that can go to 134. First Republic, FRC, right? FRC. This is smoke them if you have them, man. So I think we just went down 50%. <laughs> Look at this thing. Unbelievable. Next leg, here we go. I mean, this is, I, I don't know what they're waiting for um, to basically get this out of its misery. Um, but today will be a big day. This will... You know, you're not going to be able to. So say, so watch what happens here, folks. Okay, they you had choices. The choices are, uh, you know, you, you cut and bait. You, you basically got to push paper out at very low prices. You know, they probably couldn't get any buyers at low prices. Now this is cut in half again. Okay, 
So you get two different things happening now. You're losing the equity. You're losing anything that you can try to get some equity into. And we know inside the context, they, uh, they only had 70 billion. They lost something like 50 billion in deposits. They had 70 billion in deposits, 30 billion of that with the other three ba big banks. And those banks were only putting that 30 billion in for 90 days, you know? So I just, yeah, we'll see, we'll see how it shakes out. And as I said, when I had done the update, there's First Republic evidently has a good Rolodex. And if they do go south, evidently there's going to be other banks that actually get hit. Because you can see how fast they took Signature out, right? Well, they're not taking First Republic out. And there's a reason they're not taking it out. And I suspect what the reason is, is that you're going to have a little chain event that's going to happen if they take First Republic out. And that is probably why, simultaneously, they claim that they were pushing and shoving in order to put the other 30 billion in. But I suspect that's what it is. You know, that there's, there's a chain reaction inside First Republic because of the high net worth and the amount of dollars that are in there. And, and that, that, it's not gonna be the amount of dollars that were in there. It's gonna be the derivatives that First Republic did off of that for other large banks that at this point we don't know who's actually holding the bag but the fed does and the other banks do and that's why i suspect it's not taken out now they're going to try to figure out okay you know what are we going to do now now that now the, the, they just got cut in half again cut in half can you imagine getting cut in half in one day that is about as intense as you can get let's go take a look at the uh gld let's see if we get action here see this is going to get interesting man because folks are getting nervous here. Yeah, the GLD is setting up nice, man. Seven million shares. You know, so that's not, we didn't get a pullback here, man. This is good. Because we got, we got a high volume high right now in the GLD. You know, and the GLD, of course, you know, trades at the price of gold. But because it's been trading for so long, the bottom line is that, you know, you see the amount of, points that get taken off it every year because the expense ratio is four tenths of one percent. So what ends up happening every year and a half, it takes off a, a dollar. You know, that's the way you got to look at it. But bottom line, it's useful when you are doing price and volume. That's, that's, that's the bottom line. It's definitely useful when you're doing that. We go take a look at the, let's go to the IWM. We got a target that wants to look at the IWM. Let's take a look at it. That's these are small caps. That's coming down in volume. Not too, not too heavy, though, but it's, it's at volume. We made a high yesterday in the IWM at 17 million, doing 24. <clears throat> Excuse me. <coughs> oh, look at this, though. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, the IWM was lower price. I'm going to put this back further. This IWM might be a monster ABC down. Building cars. Look at this. What? Yeah, it is. It's a potential. Look at this. That is a nasty setup. That we've actually... Four, eight... We've been going sideways for 12 months. That's... We're going south, man. This is going to get nasty. Let's see. Where we're at. We're at the... Yeah, we could go south all the way to October. You know? And if that's the case, folks, just what to do. You don't have to, you know freak out about it what you want to do is you get ready you know to basically beef up your portfolio you know bottom line you know for whatever equities you're in or uh, want to be in get a list going man because if that's where we're going um it'll be a tough three or four months right now but there'll be prices that you haven't seen for a long time and if that's the case you know as i've said many times you never go down forever and you never go up forever. In this particular case, this market wants lower price. The PEs are huge. There's no doubt about that. We know that. So if you're in this for the longer game, get, get this. What you definitely want, you got to get the strongest stocks in the market. Don't go buying stuff that is just cheap. That is not the way to do it. Dow, Dow Industrials right now down 331. Nasdaq's off 224. S&P's off 64. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.
Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrial is down 320. Nasdaq's off 218. S&P's off 62. Listen to this, folks. This is pretty amazing. Now, this just came across the tape. I'm telling you, man. Things are never what you think they are, and folks are not as bright as you actually think they are in certain instances. And in this particular case, we're talking about banking regulators, so this is something else. Listen to this. Months before Silicon Valley Bank and Signature Bank collapsed, US, U.S. financial regulators received warnings how the industry's mounting losses had the potential to spark a, a crisis. And letters and calls from our, this is public. It was public then too. They just pulled it up. And letters and calls from October through December, trade groups and lawmakers told senior age agency officials that the losses undermined banks' liquidity access and might hurt the economy. The losses and letters were public, but the issue wasn't treated as a top, top priority of a harbinger of what transpired in March, according to four people involved in at least one of the calls. The attendees who included regulators, didn't want to be identified. Of course, they didn't want to be identified. Could you imagine that the banks call the regulators, tell them that, hey, man, all these banks are going south on these bad trades, and they don't make a top priority out of The communications, including the Federal Reserve and the Federal Deposit Insurance officials, were among the first indications that regulators and lenders, particularly regional and community banks, 
were coming under serious stress due to the rising interest rates. They also raised questions about why the trouble at banks flew under the agency's radar. Well, it didn't fly under their radar, folks. They're just lazy. The bottom line, bureaucrats can get so lazy, it's amazing, because guess what? Just keep giving me those green checks or whatever color checks they get at the Federal Reserve and the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation. This is just basically incompetence in a monster way. This is going to end up being a scandal in a, in a huge way. You know, first they claim that, yeah, they don't know it, and then all of a sudden you get this out. Yeah, forget it. Yeah. I always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. If uh, I'm going to do the update, if Google's numbers come out, I'll make sure you have them, folks. Have a great night. Have a safe night. Look at them, folks. Building wealth.